Hi there guys, my name is David, you are watching Vival Automotive and this is yet another video from the 2021 Goodwood Festival of Speed, this time a quick walk around around this beautiful 1959 Ferrari 250 GT TDF. So this car that you can see right here in front of me is once again the 1959 Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta Tour de France uh, One Louvre. It's quite a long name, honestly, and uh, what it stands for pretty much is this is the Ferrari's GT car from the 1950s. So sort of the road going, the less aggressive than the standard um, sort of track race cars that Ferrari produced in the 50s and the 60s. This is a GT, so you were supposed to be able to take this to restaurants, take this to shops and all of these places. Um, it is also called the TDF which stands for Tour de France but you might think that that stands you know for the Tour de France uh, cycling race that takes place in France every year but no that's not the case because TDF or Tour de France was also an automotive race uh, basically a race around France and the uh, drivers drove cars uh, such as these uh, 1950s and 1960s racing Ferrari so this is sort of an homage uh, to that race um, in France in the 1950s and it is also called One Louvre which basically stands for this one louver here behind the window um, before the one louver there were also cars which had the three louvers right over here but this car is only one louver Only 38 one louver TDFs were ever produced. I'm not really sure how many of them uh, really survived up to this day because after all, you know, this car is uh, more than 50 years old. That's absolutely incredible. I, I sort of reckon that there's probably not that many of these uh, driving around uh, because, you know, they could have crashed, they, anything could have happened to them, which makes them insanely valuable as well. Of course, you know, only one or two years of production from 1958 to 1959, only 38 cars produced. I think that the value of this car is probably somewhere around 10 to 15 million mark. You could have noticed that this car also has a very similar styling uh, to one of my all-time favorite cars, the Ferrari 250 GT California. The GT California is one of the most valuable Ferraris ever. It is sort of the uh, topless version, the sort of uh, cool convertible from the 60s. There were around 100 of those produced and they sell for around 20 million pounds or 20 million euros or dollars. And this car has got a pretty similar front. I mean, it's pretty much identical and I absolutely love it. Just such a cool look. I love these sort of fog lights here in the front, this Ferrari prancing horse. If we go and have a look around the car, this car is finished in dark blue. I'm not entirely sure what uh, the name of the color is, but uh, if you bought this car brand new, you could have chosen one out of 20 optional paints. Then of course we've got these uh, sort of spoke wheels, classic on uh, 60s cars, Michelin tires, which are, look very retro indeed. Then you've got these sort of vents over here, taking the air out of the wheel well. Continuing on, let's have a look at the interior. Of course, this car is a manual, it has a manual transmission, it has this sort of quarter finished seats this car is very 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 special and the reason why it's very 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 special is because I'm not really sure you're probably not going to be able to see that but over there on the speedo of this car it says that this car only driven uh, 851 miles in its entire lifetime okay so I actually did a bit of research about this specific car and found out it had undergone an engine rebuild at GTO Engineering in 2015. This means that the 851 miles on the clock have probably been acquired since 2015. Somewhere around then, the car has also been repainted from red to the current dark blue. And here are some pictures of it when it was owned by Matthias Ficht and raced at numerous historic events such as the Mille Emilia or the Le Mans Classic. The current owner of the car and the guy who presumably drove it to Goodwood is the technical officer of Red Bull Racing F1 team and the mastermind behind the Aston Martin Valkyrie, Adrian Newey. The Valkyrie is incredibly, incredibly cool, but the 250 TDF is just pure class. 
What else is to say about this car? Let's talk about the engine for a bit. Uh, so all of the 1958 and 1959 TDFs uh, one louver cars came with a Typo 128D engine, uh, which produced around uh, 235 to 260 horsepower and was capable of getting this car to a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Can you imagine driving in this car at 150 miles per hour on the Autobahn or on the motorway or whatever? That must be scary, scary stuff. Uh, it could also get you from zero to 60 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers hour in 5.2 seconds which doesn't really sound all that impressive in today's standards you know you can get the Devo can get you to, to 102.4 seconds so this is uh, pretty much more than half the time but in the 1950s or end of the 1950s and beginning of the 1960s this was absolutely just blisteringly fast The engine has got a red line at seven and a half thousand RPMs and oh god how much do I wish to have heard this car when it came here to this parking lot because just yesterday it wasn't here so it perhaps came sometime in the morning and I would love love to hear the exhaust note of this car because after all you know this is the sort of purest uh, purest of engines you know the v12 and all of that the engine is of course here in the front um, under these these covers and I mean just look at this leather look at the craftsmanship let, let me sort of focus on that because this is just incredible how exposed everything is look at the windshield wipers and all of this it is just so so special seeing this car this hand built one out of only 38 in the world car parked here all right so this has been the Ferrari 250 TDF thank you very much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it if you've learned something new and subscribe to my youtube channel for more automotive content from Goodwood and elsewhere I cover all the cars from 1950s Ferraris uh, to modern brand new Bugattis. So yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you next time. <laughs>